Hey there folks, Toby here. Now anybody who knows me from uh, 3D modelling and Cinema 4D, this may look like a bit of a strange situation. And that is because I am in Blender. Now I thought I'd just make a quick video to help people who were trying to come from Cinema 4D into Blender. And the one thing that is going to kill you when you move to Blender is the navigational controls in Blender. So I'm going to show you how to set these up so they are like Cinema 4D. And I kind of love everything about Blender and I would recommend you learning the Blender shortcuts. But the navigation <laughs> just kills you. Um, having 10 plus years of muscle memory from Cinema 4D, it's just completely infuriating. So basically, this is how you do it. Now I've got this set up here. Um, so this is like Cinema 4D. We can rotate, zoom using Alt mouse wheel and Alt left click to rotate and Alt clicking middle mouse to pan. I also have a quad view set up so you can kind of go between these views. Now one quirk of Blender is when you come out of quad view, your perspective view will be gone, but you just kind of rotate to kind of get back where you were. That's one of the slight quirks of um, Blender, but it's um, pretty easy to get over. So let's go up to Edit Preferences. You can see I have my um, key map file here. And let's just go back to Blender. There is one here called Industry Compatible, which is like a Maya kind of vibe, which does the navigation, but it also changes a lot of the shortcuts. And I found it's just more trouble than it's worth. So what we're going to do is just come to the Blender default, and I'm just going to restore all of these ones here that I fiddle with. Now, the thing that is actually going to kill you is that everything navigational wise is done with shift or not everything. But if I hit shift immediately, I'm hitting shift and I'm trying to rotate and I'm hitting the left mouse button, which isn't doing anything. I have to um, shift and middle click and then zoom is just mouse wheel and pan is mouse wheel kind of grab like so um either way it's horrible <laughs> so we're going to change it so you're going to want to um set up a couple of things here just make sure you have select with left and that's by default so what i'm going to do here is go plus and we're going to do c4d nav not NAS, NAV, and hit OK. And you can see it's made us a new key map here. You can see that the Blender preferences have gone away. That's fine. And everything else here now is exactly the same as Blender. So the main things we're after are here in this 3D view. Now you can see that Blender has an array of key commands for sort of one function and the tricky thing about working this out is which one does what especially when it comes to you know rotate pan zoom you'd think there'd just be one of these but there isn't so first of all we need to kind of figure out what our cinema 4d key commands are actually doing in the blender key map now let's start with pan because that's a bit of a killer Pan and zoom are the real um, gotchas. So if I go Alt or Option and scroll in with my mouse wheel, you can kind of see that nothing is happening. This is because in the layout, this is actually moving the time line down the bottom. So we need to kind of disable that function in the preferences 
Now to find this, we can actually search for the key binding, which is Alt, Wheel, Down, Wheel Up. And this is the frame offset, so we need to disable those. And then we're going to come up to Name and just search for, we want Zoom. And what we want is this Wheel In, Wheel Out one here. And all we actually have to do to this is enable the Alt key with the wheel. And now, hopefully, we can um, zoom in and out. Now, something just happened there, and that's the pan gotcha. So if you press Alt and middle mouse wheel and scrub, it kind of scrubs through your orthographic views which is a bit weird so we need to disable that functionality in the key map and this is under view axis and it's these guys here so we're going to disable these Then we're going to come back, search for pan, and that's down here. Pan view, middle mouse. All we need to do is enable the alt for that. And now we have panning in the viewport, and we have zoom on alt and mouse wheel up down. So now we need to uh, get our rotate going. And rotate is in Blender, shift and middle mouse. So we need to come into Blender preferences and we're gonna search for rotate, 3D view. And you can see that's the one here, shift middle mouse. So we're going to change from shift to alt. Let's come out of here. And now if I do alt middle mouse, I get it, but I don't want that. I want, crikey, it's complicated, isn't it? Um, I want alt and I want a left click. So I'm going to click the um, button here. And it says press a key and I'm going to left click and then enable alt. Now hopefully, there you go. That's alt option, left click. And now we have our basic kind of mouse navigation worked out in Blender. So all of this stuff will work in these different views and blah, blah, blah. Now the next thing we want to do is quad view, which is control option Q in Blender, and that will give you the quad view. And if we just open up the uh, toolbar here, this is the key command N to kind of view this little menu here. You can see if we go into quad view, we now get this quad view thing here. Let's go into our preferences. Let's search for quad view, which is toggle quad view. And we're just going to click the middle mouse button. Let's come out of there. Let's get rid of that. And now if I hit the middle mouse button, you can see that I can change my views like so. And, you know, I just have to rotate to get back into perspective view here. Now that is all I change in Blender. I think it's a good idea to um, stick with the key maps they provided and they don't take learn, you know, long to learn. You know, tab gets you into edit mode or object mode. And you can see you have your tools here down the side. You can pull these out. And Blender is extremely powerful for modeling. There's nothing you're not going to be able to do in it that you can do in Cinema 4D. So that's about all I'm going to cover there. It just enables you to kind of get 
up and running, which is what you basically want to do. Just being able to move around the screen uh, makes learning Blender a lot faster. So I'm going to leave it there. Download Blender, check it out, and happy modeling.